person wants to know how can we perform surgery without the patient just bleeding everywhere? Because whenever you scrape your knee or get a paper cut or something like that, your skin bleeds forever it seems like. So how is it that we can make these massive incisions without the patient just bleeding everywhere? Short answer to that question is we pretty much burn the blood vessels. You see, after we make our incision, we have this device called a BOVI, otherwise known as a monopolar electrocautery device. It's designed to use electricity to actually cauterize the blood vessels that are bleeding. We can also use a device called a bipolar electrocautery device, and another form of that is something called an aquamantis. Basically, we have several different instruments that we can use to cauterize the blood vessels and stop the blood vessels from hemorrhaging into the wound and allow us to see what we're doing and perform the surgery. But in addition to that, we also have things that we can put directly into the wound to help slow down the bleeding. Things like prothrombotic agents can sometimes help. Something called thromboxane, for example, can help, or a thrombin-soaked uh, gauze, for example, can sometimes help. And another thing is a hemostatic matrix like Surgiflow or Flow Seal. It's important to remember that every step of the surgery is intentional, and so we have a plan for what we're gonna do next. So after we make the incision, we have a way to stop the bleeding, and then we have a way to do the exposure, and then we have a way to actually perform the surgery, and then we again stop and slow down any bleeding before we uh, suture the incision closed. Honestly, that's a great question.